following podcast has been brought to you by Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Panzer Club proudly brings to you, it is I, one half of your longest reigning Ramble Mania show, Tag Team Champions of the World! Ah! The Angel of Death 6XL joining me as always. Yeah, <laughs> the I. You're the half of the longest reigning Ramble Mania Tag Team Champions of all the times. All the times. CJ the Great, CJ the Great. Of course, we are the Banter Club. We are here to discuss AW Rampage. This is Rampage, baby. Show you've been waiting on. You know how they do. <laughs> they play hip hop and shit. <laughs> I got a, I got a hip hop to that shit. Yeah, yeah. Dun 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 dun. It sounds like a better version of Bobby Lashley's theme song. <laughs> I like Bobby Lashley's theme song. <laughs> I like it a lot, actually. I like Bobby yeah, Lashley's theme song. Yeah, but the Rampage theme song is more fire than that. Uh, I guess, I guess. <laughs> I got more John Blaze than that. <laughs> I got more John Blaze than that. That Bobby Lashley shit, it was all right. It was, all right. It was cool. <laughs> but, uh, of course, before we talk about the AEW Rampage, if we didn't discuss it all by Dynamite or something new happened, we talk mm-hmm. about whatever news happened in the interim days between Wednesday and Friday. And not much, but, you know, a few things here and there. Uh, one thing. William Regal. Oh, yes, yeah, Sunshine. I'm starting a podcast, Sunshine. That's fucking beautiful, man. It's about time you guys got to listen to me every week. Just talk yeah, about wrestling. Me. Yeah, tell me how beautiful the sunshine is, Sunshine. Yes, yeah, Sunshine. I've got a voice made for podcasting. Clearly. And, and, and the man with the mask? Yeah, man with the mask. <laughs> he, per- <laughs> he perhaps will be a guest. <laughs> Hopefully so. We need the man in the mask there. Uh, yeah, but they're going to call it the gentleman villain with William, mm. with William Regal. Fancy. Yeah, it's very fancy. Fancier than two-touch POS. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he's going to you know just talk about mo- uh, moments in his wrestling career and just, just everything he feels about what's going on now in wrestling. Just a general... William Regal talks about wrestling podcasts, which, yeah, that's, that sounds like something I'll listen to for sure. I hope he talks about Tajiri Sunshine. Yes, I'm sure he'll probably talk about that. You know. I, need some, mm-hmm. I need some funny stories. I've heard the man is very interesting. Yes. So all, all that good stuff. I'm sure there'll be a lot of you know, good stuff from when he, when he got into WWF and, and did I all that stuff. I hope he has some funny words for... Funaki. Yes. Definitely will be interesting to hear him talk about <laughs> the world Sorry. title run that, that never was, because, you know, situation. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, all the droogs. Yeah. Dang it, Regal, you were so close. Right. I, I think about that a lot, like that that Mad King Regal run, and, mm-hmm. and to, to know... That's where it was really going. It's like, damn, man. Yeah. I kind of saw him as like British Triple H <laughs> growing up. Like he was that asshole's asshole type of, you know, villain. And, and I always appreciated those kind of guys. They were fun yeah. to boo. Yeah, yeah. Regal is definitely one of those guys that, you know, when you're growing up watching wrestling, he's one of those guys that's really fun to boo. And then, you know, you get older and you, you, you learn more about wrestling and you realize this guy was the best yeah you 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 tend to grow to appreciate them and all the things that they did for the for the business yeah Mm -hmm. so yeah definitely would be worth checking out uh, William Regal's podcast um now some damn unfortunate news oh dang go ahead yes the man himself the master of of the meat sauce madness oh damn I heard about this yeah she yeah uh, he announced on Twitter, I think, that uh, he suffered two strokes. Damn. And is suffering from the early stages of dementia. Oof. So, 
really unfortunate. Um, he plugged all you know all the stuff he does. He had a, he has a mobile game that I didn't even know about. But yeah, yeah I, I found out about it through literally the same uh, thing that I was reading about it because he was plugging. He was like, you know, please support this, support that, support all this stuff that I, you know, just yeah. that way I can I can help myself with the bills and whatever and whatnot. Yeah, he was basically just like, you know, I've just I've given my body and, you know, my entire being to this business. And now I just want to survive. So if you can help out and yeah, you know, mm -hmm. best wishes to, to the homie Virgil, Soul Train Jones. Uh, I love I always talk about with Virgil. I love that he embraced the fucking meme because, you know, for yeah. years it was yeah. just, you know, people posting that picture of him alone at the fucking meet and greet like table. Lonely and now, Virgil, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Lonely Virgil. And then he just, like, took that shit and ran with it. And, and yep. that's how you do it. You, you flip the joke and make it so that everybody's laughing with you instead yep. of at you. And you make money off of it. <laughs> you make money off of it. He took it to the bank. So I always admired that he was yeah. able to do that for himself. Including and, Hall. Hall used to... <laughs> 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 Yeah, rest in peace, OG, but OG used to mess with him so much. Yeah, yeah, much he used yet. to fuck with him over that, man. <laughs> Yo, how come every picture? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you got one with me, you got one with Kev. Who the fuck is that? Why? Can you have any of your own merch? Where's your merch? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Chico. <laughs> I, w I was dying for him to say Chico, but he did. <laughs> yeah, damn, Chico. It's just that's oh, the man. way he really talks, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm over here. I got the toothpick in my mouth and everything right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would, that's literally all Scott Hall did to be Razor Ramon. He just like yeah. said Chico and shit. <laughs> that's it. Just to be honest, the rest of it is that's really how he is. Yeah, he was know? he was genuinely that <laughs> fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um, bro, I think you should you know <laughs> should do this. <laughs> that's basically that's the story of Scott Hall. Whenever you ask any of the boys. So how was Scott? Well, you know, he gave me like some of the best advice I've ever heard. <laughs> he just told me one day, hey, how about you do this? And then I was over for 20 years. It was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, that's, that's the main uh, few yeah. things that popped up in the news that I saw. Oh, uh, Tony Khan has an announcement and... A lot of people are speculating. Rumors are swirling about TK's big announcement on Dynamite. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the the main rumor is that it's going to be a super show uh, with New Japan Pro Wrestling and AEW. Which, if that's the case, then spicy. Yeah, that's that's I'm crazy. Down, I'm talk. down with all of that. I'm down that's with crazy all of that. Talk. It, 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 if if that's the case and, and it's when they say it's going to mm -hmm. be, man, no joke, and, I might have to get this money right and, and make that trip to Chicago. <laughs> and what if, what if Kenny gets better? That's what I'm saying, man. Who the fuck knows what the mm -hmm. hell is on the table if this is Yo, what we're talking about now. Fucking Mox versus Ishii could, versus could, could, Suzuki versus Samoa Joe. <laughs> Fucking, Fatal four way. But, yeah, a bunch of just fucking uh, uh, just, uh, striking. <laughs> fucking Jeff Cobb versus Will Hobbs. Yeah, man. Danielson and Saber Jr. Fucking whatever, whatever you want to do. I, man, the coin. Fucking, all I, I, I've been saying for years that coin. Yep. I need that coin on dynamite. Fucking uh, evil versus. Malachi Black. <laughs> that was a torture. That was a black. <laughs> there you go. Some fire shit. <laughs> uh, uh, fucking shit. Naito and Andrade meeting up like, hey, gang, Ooh, gang, gang. We still gang, gang right? <laughs> gang. Oh, I hope that would be, yo, I hope it's all love. Right? So shit. Fucking Andrade could show Naito his his, his new squad. <laughs> this Los is the Afro. de Afo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like the best friends are in chaos, fucking yep. the AFO is in <laughs> LIJ. Fucking fire. I'm down with all of that shit. Yeah. That's insanity. Because <laughs> that would mean Butcher and Blade is in LIJ, and I actually fucks with that a lot. <laughs> yeah. 
they actually did something good here when it comes when it pertains to that man. So I'm glad that you know you even brought that up. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we go. We all talk about. It. Yeah. Let's get to. Let's get wait, to. Wait, it. Wait, I mean, wait. you want to talk about? I'll the, talk about battle of the belts yeah, right quick. The battle. The battle of the belts, which occurred. Yes. So first we had Sammy Guevara up against uh, Scorpio Sky for the TNT title. This was crazy. This was a fun little flippy dippy fly floppy match, man. I mean, there was even a point where Sammy Guevara just said dot 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 die from out of nowhere to everyone on the outside. Uh, there was a point here where Paige Van Zant came out because Ty <laughs> Ty Conti knocked the shit out of Ethan Page. Wow. <laughs> he started leaking. It's soaking wet, and oh, then that shit. happened, and there was a whole smosh, and and you know, and some heel work over here by Sammy Guevara to get the pin, and the you know, the commentators put it over as was good for the goose, is good for the gander kind of deal. But I'm starting to feel like maybe they're turning him heel, which would make sense, especially since he has his Stephanie McMahon right by his side. That would be a dope situation to see. Uh, what else happened next? Oh, yes. How can I forget about this? It's Dalton Castle versus Jonathan Grisham. Holy fucking shit. This was fun. Uh, there were some crazy spots here and there. Memorably, uh, memorably to, to me is, is, is the ones that are uh, the, the little repeat spot where they got into the corner. And then all of a sudden, you see uh, Jonathan Grisham trying to get a chop in, but Dalton Castle will reverse. And now all of a sudden, Jonathan Grisham's in the corner. And vice versa, and it would go over and over and over again. There was a few spots here and there that were really just insanity. There was some cool down times. The boys got involved here and there. You know how that goes. And there was also this uh, hilarity that ensued when they started rolling around the ring, trying to pin each other and pin each other and pin each other and pin each other. It was great. Then after that, after that match, you know what I'm saying? My God you know, of course, our boy Jonathan Grisham secured the W. My arch nemesis. <laughs> this man. But then, uh, you know, afterwards, it's the bullshit once again. You know who came out? Oh, Lethal and Sanjay. Lethal, Sanjay, and who? Oh, they had homeboy with them, Satnam Singh. Yep, he was with them. Okay. Okay. So Singh goes in there, you know, he, he runs rough shot, he beats the crap out of everybody. That's that's kinda like what they're they're making him do now. You know, uh there was a point there where, you know, uh Jay Lethal hits uh, Gresham with the lethal injection and it's 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 looking nasty. You know, the the bad guys are running rough shot. But for the save, here comes Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is a fucking absolute beast and a goat. He comes down with a lead pipe and you know, they kind of back off homeboy and they're like, yo, chill, bro. Don't even, don't get involved. Because there was also a point here where, uh, damn, who was it who showed up? My brain is drawing a blank. I think it was Lee Moriarty. I think oh. it was Lee Moriarty. And uh, uh, I believe it was uh, our boy Airborne who came down. Fucking. Uh, oh, Matt Sydal. Matt Sydal. So Matt Sydal comes down. To try to like, hey, don't do, you're going to die. <laughs> he got murdered. And then that's when Joe came out. And then Joe came out with the lead pipe and scared the shit out of everyone. It was fucking absolutely incredible. I wanted Joe to murder that man. I went from hating this dude because of the stupidity that they did with him on Dynamite to being like, I hope Joe kicks his ass. So I'm cool with that. <laughs> uh, after this, we have... A really, really fun match between Nyla Rose and Thunder Rosa. Rosa. Hard-hitting, abusive, ass-whooping, you know. But there was a few missteps here and there in the end. Tev, you have anything to say about this match? Yeah, this is the one match I got to see that I got mm -hmm. home home in time to see. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I thought this was mostly a good match. Uh, there, there was some shakiness by the end, though, because Ny Nyla definitely was, was a little blown up. She was gassed. Yeah, she was a little gassed. Uh, and, you know, when you get gassed, it gets harder to, you know, get into all your spots and all your motions and everything. But they they pulled it together just fine. They had a really good finish. Uh, Rosa fought from underneath, got the Rana, rolled her up for the victory. And it, it, it was a good way of putting over Nyla as a monster and Thunder Rosa just was able to be out-wrestle her and be the smart champion and eke out a mm -hmm. win. So, you know, overall, it was a good match. You know, you can't, you know, whatever. Shit happens in wrestling. People it get is tired. What it, is. Yeah. it was an ass whooping though. It was fun. Yeah. It, was, it was a fun match. They had they had yeah. a fight. Yeah, they had a fight. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, man. I wish uh, Jim Ross was there because Thunder Rosa came out with that hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. This just keeps happening every night. <laughs> I got to stop coming to these shows. I don't know. <laughs> A.W. is frigging crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, shit. Uh, What's going on? Starting to feel it. Uh, oh, shit. He's in the building? I think... Uh, <sighs> I'm feeling a little uh, ready. Oh, yeah. I think I'm ready, too. No. no. I guess not there. You are not ready. But I am ready. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you are. <laughs> then, for the thousands in attendance. But it's just us. And, and 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 the millions watching at home, Tevin. The millions. And for the fun characters we're creating on WWE 2K22. Oh yeah. We <laughs> that <time>. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Let's get ready to banter. AEW Rampage from Dallas, Texas. That's where Steve Austin started. And ended his career, son. <laughs> <laughs> I started my career in the in Dallas Sportatorium. <laughs> in the Sportatorium. Right here in Dallas, Texas. And he ended it in Jerry World. Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we open with the Gun Club versus the Blackpool Combat Club. It's club versus club. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I like that, that douchey ass song. <laughs> Good shit. <laughs> uh, you enjoy it. I find that shit obnoxious. I like that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect music for the ass boys. Uh, for the culitos. Yes. Uh, William Regal, of course, is on commentary. Will Wheeler Yuta. Super Wheeler. over with the crowd. They are mm-hmm. loving some, They are loving Wheeler Yuta here in Dallas. They're like, after okay. last week, after what we saw from you, now this dude, the truth. We love this dude. So, and you know, he gets to show off some joint manipulation early on yes, before sir. he tags in Sensei Brian Danielson, the master. Uh, and then Billy comes in and he's like, I'm a fucking hoss. What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> and then Danielson kicks him over to the corner. I'm a 60 year old hoss. A 60 year old hoss at that, but I definitely don't look it. What do you want to do? <laughs> Hell no. I look bigger than fucking. Wardlow, <laughs> uh, yet here I am. <laughs> he's sixty AE, years old. He's AEW sixty year olds built different. Hell yeah, I mean he, he's he's older than Taker. So yeah, Billy Gunn out here looking Jack Sting out here jumping off shit. It's going crazy out here. Uh, but different. They different. <laughs> uh, Danielson kicks Billy over to the corner. Starts the run and drop kicks back and forth. Man, just this dude effortlessly. Switches between heel and babyface. For like the past, ever since he turned heel to the feud with Hangman. Mm-hmm. He's, he's just cranked up the viciousness and the dickish mm-hmm. heelishness and all that. The second that we do the uh, Blackpool Combat Club and they do the recruiting Yuta and all that. The and PCC. now they're basically faces. He's working babyface like no issue. Natural <laughs> as fuck. This man Danielson is a god. He's, he's a god at this shit. Uh, so we go to commercial off that. Uh, we come out of the break. He gets the hot tag to Mox. Mox is running wild. Hits a superplex on Austin. Uh, goes for the DDT on Colton. Billy runs in. He he hits Mox with a lariat. Then Mox just comes back and he hits the fucking King Kong lariat. And that should look mm. great because, again, Billy's a big dude. <laughs> when you when you throw in big bro. lariats at big dudes, that shit hit. Yeah. So now everybody comes in. They start hitting big moves. Dragon and Mox are like, hey, it's time to dive. But Billy's like, no, you don't. I'm a hoss. And he clotheslines the boat. <laughs> <laughs> and now Billy, the hoss, is alone with young Wheeler Utah. Yep. And Rico's like, this is what I wanted. It's time to see how Utah I got handles the pressure. Yuta. Yeah, I got shook for Utah. That's this a big old man. And he's a fucking, he's basically a legend at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was scary. <laughs> yeah, so... Billy, Billy fucking hoist this dude like 20 feet in the air for the fucking one and only and dropped him. You know, if it was uh, Isaiah uh, Cassidy, he would have been like, yeah. <laughs> Isaiah would have definitely hit the screen for this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he drops him with it, covers him. Yuta kicks out at two. 
He goes for the famous serve, but Yuta rolls out, comes back, gets the leverage pin for the one, two, and three. Blackpool Combat Club gets the win. They end the perfect trios record for the gun club. And again, since we have in matches like this and we count in trios records, Excuse trios me, belts, please trios and thank belts? you. Please and thank you. Where are they? Hello. Well, I keep in records for trios. I'm waiting for I'm waiting for the for the AEW trios belts longer than I've been waiting for a dual plated uh, WCW replica on the shop. So that's forever. Like, yeah, yeah. On. That's hey. That's... Listen, if anybody from WWE shop is is watching, give me a dual plated, two colors. You know what I'm saying? It's so it's 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 the it's, we're gonna we're gonna go with technical term. It's the nickel plated, right? And then you know you got the gold plate over it. You know what I'm saying? On the certain relief patterns, with the cross hatch patterns within the little letters and shit make it look fire you know you could do it i seen what y'all did with the winged eagle you gonna tell me you can't make a wcw uh uh big gold uh dual plated come on now dog you could do it do it show, show, show us show us some do love us wcw cats mm -hmm. <laughs> do it uh, we got the butcher versus bear brown <laughs> so Ooh. yeah we got the the food. That's that's what this man is. Yeah, they try to give us an enhancement match so that way, you know, he, the butcher could seem a bit more of a threat when he goes up against our our boy Wardlow. Yeah, yeah, you know, he got Wardlow on dynamite, so you know we got to give the butcher a solid win real quick. So butcher killed this dude. Sean mm -hmm. Spears was talking shit on commentary because you know MJF, he's paying for this man's services. They're like, how much did? MJF paid for the butcher. Spears is like, as much as he's worth, which is a lot of money. Let me tell you. You know, that's Big Butch in there. I, I call him that because we're boys. <laughs> Fucking John Spears. <laughs> uh, I, I fucked with Butcher, though. I like Butcher. So, man, him and Wardlow will be fun. Now, we got Dustin Rhodes in the back. He's, he's this talking is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he basically put out into the air, you know, he's got this dream match that he wants to have. This sort of bucket list item that he wants to cross off. Mm -hmm. And he wants to go up against the best in the world. He wants to face CM Punk, best in the world versus the natural, Dustin Rhodes. He says he'll know, he knows that we'll tear the house down on AEW Dynamite. So what do you say, Punk? Let's do it. And I think Dustin actually did say this on Twitter like a couple days back. He was just talking about, like, yo, I think CM Punk is one of the best. I've always wanted to face him, which I, I could have sworn they've wrestled in WWE, but I guess they haven't. I don't remember it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't remember it either. I just figured, you know, since they were both there for, you know, maybe a period. dark shows or some shit. Yeah, man, like maybe house shows or dark shows, yeah. but I don't, I don't know. I should check cage match. Yeah. But uh, yeah, CM Punk versus Dustin Rhodes on Dynamite, which I, I'm with that. I think that's oh, yeah. gonna be good. I was actually surprised. I was like, oh. Your balls grew like 20 fucking inches. What's going on here? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know Dustin is always... Dustin with all all types of smoke. I know, but it was just like, oh, we're CM Punk, though? Damn, yeah, yeah. You, you, you ready, ready. All right. Ready, ready. Yeah, yeah. Like, let's hopefully, do it. you know, hopefully he killed that shit. Yeah, I mean, you know. he always... He never disappoints, so... He actually always surprises us, which is fucking crazy. Yeah, we, we should like, be surprised. At this point, we shouldn't be surprised. It's Dustin. Yeah. He's the natural. <laughs> but he's so fucking good that it's just like, how, son? Yeah. He'd just be doing it. Yeah, so that's what's going down on Dynamite. And now, got another Owen Hart tournament match on the women's side. Ruby Soho versus Robin Renegade. Destination, no, no. Ruby, 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 Ruby Soho. Soho. Ruby looks great yep. <laughs> tonight. Um, she looks adorable. But she's always a little, like, you know, Adorable little punk style type chick. She's cool as hell. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's an end forced motherhood sign in the front row, which I agree with it. What? I just never thought I'd see something <laughs> like it at a wrestling show. <laughs> What's the hey, I know I know y'all have y'all ideas and this is a wrestling show. <laughs> I, did, I, 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 I thought about, about it, I guess, I guess because it's Texas. <laughs> problems and shit, yeah. And uh, Texas is, you know, uh, there's a lot going on with that type yeah. of stuff in Texas at the moment. So I guess, you know, people are going hard down there. So, I mean, you know, be pro-abortion. That's cool. I think women, you know, women mm -hmm. should have the right to do whatever. It's their body. 
Your buddy she was rest, she she was she's wrestling here tonight. <laughs> so either one. <laughs> Renegade. <laughs> Robin Renegade. Robin Renegade. Um, so Ruby, uh, uh, they fight into the corner. Ruby handstands, but then Robin cuts her off with the big boot. And then we go into the picture in picture. Uh, and then we come out of it. Ruby makes a comeback, gets Robin in the corner, and then Robin slips out and goes under the mm-hmm. ring. And then out comes Charlotte Renegade. Yep. Who does not look too, too much like her. But I guess if you're not well educated on what she looks like, it, it would be like, oh, they, they look exactly the same. Yeah, they did a twin magic spot. Mm-hmm. I think Excalibur called it a, a killer bee spot, which as old school, but fair enough. Um, damn, that is. I just thought about it. <laughs> I'm like, damn, yo, Killer Bees, that's like. <laughs> I guess if you got a reference of fucking WWE, reference WWF and whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's that's old, bro. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, they did this spot. It worked yet. It didn't even work. <laughs> it kind of did, though. Kinda. It threw Ruby off for the moment, but she she yeah. she came back. Yeah. Um, then, then Charlotte dipped out and, and slipped back under, and then they switched again, and uh, Robin rolled her up, but Ruby kicked out and then hit her with the big twisted neck breaker, covered her, got the one, two, and three. And then uh, Charlotte comes out from under the ring, and they both head up the mm-hmm. ramp, and then Ruby and Bryce are like, what the hell? What uh, how about that? Did we get bamboozled? <laughs> yeah. They tried to bamboozle me. Oh, well. <laughs> I still won. It's yeah, cool. I won. So it's, it's all good. <laughs> it was still, it was, you know, you know what it was? You, you know, when you're playing Pokemon and, and, and it wasn't that effective. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I didn't even know he had that attack, but okay, that's cool. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> you were like, oh, that was, that that almost got me shit. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of crazy. Okay. Understood. I didn't know he could become two people. Yeah. I didn't know he had Brian Lee. double team. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all know the Brian Lee. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah, no, what's the fucking Pokemon attack? Substitute is the one that fucking takes you out and puts in a little fake uh, version. I, yeah. I was going for Undertaker versus Undertaker. Yeah, Undertaker <laughs> versus fake Undertaker. That's also a good one. <laughs> um, but uh, Vanessa Camella, formerly known as NXT's Vanessa Bourne, will be on yes. Dynamite Wednesday taking yes. on Britt Baker. So just preemptively put me in horny jail. We 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 loved us some Vanessa Bourne over there in that that in, we in did. NXT. Yeah, and they took so that I'm away. I'm happy from for us. her. Aren't you happy for her? I'm very happy for it. It'll be good. Yo, NXT. <laughs> Damn near the entire NXT roster graduated to go to the yeah, fucking yeah. AW. <laughs> this is the main roster. This was the true main roster for NXT all along. <laughs> yep. See, this is. This is why. This is why Vince was like, we're, we're building stars for their company, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> no, what the hell, Paul? And then poor Triple We got to make like, some fruity, goofy, corny characters for our show, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> Triple H is just like, it could be your stars if you weren't such a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> now we got the main event interview. Mm-hmm. Um. Mark asks, you know, after this, this is the biggest match of Rampage history, but do you think after this, Adam Page, you'll be done with Adam Cole? And Hangman says, tonight, I end Adam Cole's obsession with me. I end his obsession with the world title. And if he's unlucky enough, I'll end his career. And then, fuck it, Adam Cole is like, (laughs) you're a dead man, Page. (laughs) I'm going to fucking kill you my man <laughs> <laughs> i love when wrestlers threaten to kill each other i love that shit so much yeah. i am going to end your life if not your career at Fucking least <laughs> old school guys i see that sometimes they get mad about that some of them do because it's like you're not gonna actually fucking kill him it's like bro i know but I, that shit is cool to say <laughs> yeah I'm gonna fucking kill you. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> I know he's not gonna actually kill him. <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna be a fun little back and forth, and yeah. we're gonna laugh about it's it. Hype. <laughs> it's hype. It's hype. It's hype talk. Yeah. Yeah, they do it in it's, real it's, fights too. They do it in the streets. They do it in basketball. They do it in MMA. They do it in football. They do yeah. it in baseball. 
Yeah, they, I'm they, gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> yeah, you're not really gonna whoop his ass. You're gonna try to dunk on him. But that's yeah. the name of the game. You hyping yourself up. You hyping this shit up. Talk your shit. Talk your <laughs> shit. I'm gonna fucking end your life. <laughs> I love yep. that shit. Unless you in NXT, because they still apparently <laughs> yeah, NXT. I don't play that. You can't do that over there. <laughs> they, they, they catch you for talking shit on NXT. Yeah, you, get, still. you get you get caught on the wrong sides. They gentrified the hood, but you know. Even even when they gentrify, still gonna be those little places, <laughs> those little spots you can't go to at night. Yep, yep. Ask motherfuckers from Brooklyn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and see, my hood is is fake gentr- gentrified because it's like they moved in, but the hood is still the hood. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's like a lot of them moving out. <laughs> yeah. They they gotta cohabitate. Some of them cohabitate, and some of them are just like, I can't do this. And <laughs> yeah, they they're like, I'm from fucking Ohio, my man. We don't, <laughs> <laughs> or I'm from Kansas or some shit, my man. Y'all motherfuckers mm-hmm. is crazy. <laughs> yeah. We just look at them like, you better get used to it or get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> this shit ain't changing. <laughs> yeah. It's Unfortunately, it in my hood, it's just always going to be the hood, no matter how hard you try to fix it. <laughs> you put a 7-Eleven, they fucked it up. Right. <laughs> put an IHOP, they fucked it up. Put a fucking, uh, they ain't fuck up Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how Taco Bell is still doing all right. We'll see how KFC do, the, the, the little one they put over there. Yeah, and Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, the Chick Fil A. I keep forgetting they put a Chick Fil A there. Which yeah, when they first, where, where ex- Chase used to be. Kind of excited for that. Uh, That's gonna be fun though, because I mean, you already know. It's, they they starting to realize like, oh, these are the types of places that thrive in hoods like the. Okay. Yeah, they they <laughs> they're, they're understanding the market. <laughs> yeah, at first they tried with like the nice places, fucking yeah. Seven Eleven and IHOP, and them shits is. <laughs> Beat. Yeah. I mean, like, well, IHOP, you can't, you can't put an IHOP smack dab. Like, you got, it got to be a little bit off the beaten path. <laughs> like yep. the one on fucking what is it, two twenty fifth? That it got to be off to the side and shit. Yeah, the one on one thirty fifth, off to the side. <laughs> yeah, they they almost got it off to the side, but it it wasn't quite there. If they would have yeah. went up one more ave, they would have been all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It got to be just out of the way, but you know. It's a, it's an art to it to place to placement. Yeah, but it's like the way Starbucks is way on the other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that Starbucks is its own little world, and that's by design. Yep, that <laughs> shit is way over there. <laughs> I, I went there for the first time the other day, and I was like, "What the fuck? This shit!" I've been crazy. going there all the time, bro. <laughs> Everybody who look at me crazy for going over there, and I'm like. You don't like you one of them fucking vanilla bean frappuccino. Them shits is basically milkshakes, bro. <laughs> I guess. They're, they're fucking ice cream slushies, bro. That's what they are. It's weird. Mm. I can't explain it, but they're delicious. Yeah, I ain't a coffee guy. I was just going with somebody that was going to pick it up. But. <laughs> I, didn't, I, don't get, I don't get coffee from there. Vanilla bean frappuccino has yeah, no coffee yeah, all in that the, bitch. All the, you know, Strawberry the, frappuccino got no fraps, coffee in that bitch. The, all, all, the, all those gimmicks. All those gimmicks. Yeah. I get all the weird little fucking candy tasting gimmicks so that way my fat ass can <laughs> <laughs> and you know it's 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 a dopamine rush when <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 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 but you know anyways go ahead it's, there's been enough talk it's, it's time. time for the main, main event. event the AEW world championship on the line in a Texas death match Adam Cole versus hangman Adam Page um, I've been watching fucking Adam Cole play Elden Ring all week, so <laughs> <laughs> it'll be a fun juxtaposition watching him go from getting the shit beat out of him by fucking demons and <laughs> fantasy style monkeys or whatever, and now he's getting the shit beat out of him by a cowboy, and he got the shit beat out of him in this match, man. Jesus. What the hell? <laughs> <coughs> um, it starts off, they brawl through the crowd. <coughs> Hangman's like, give me a beer. And then someone hands him a beer. Hell yeah. I would have been the first one. Yeah, 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 here you go. Hangman takes a mid-match refreshment, hits Cole with it, and then, you know, they fight back down. (laughs) And then he goes up, climbs up top with a chair, fakes the dive, so Cole goes for the super kick, but then he actually Mm -hmm. goes for the moonsault, drops him with it. 
Um, hey, what's then, up? <laughs> what's up? Yeah, yeah, that went down. Um, and then they set up the fucking chair stack in the ring. You know, the two chairs with their backs to each other. And of course, you know when there's two chairs in there, you know Ooh. Adam Cole is taking that awful, awful bump. You've seen war games and all sorts of NXT matches to know. Yes. He taking this bump <laughs> and he took this bump. <laughs> mm-hmm. Fucking this shit is there's no give to these chairs, man. There's nothing. Just Cole just lands on them. Yeah, they, they legit metal, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. They're, they're real chairs. They ain't gimmick chairs. <laughs> So and yeah, there's no gimmick way to take that bump. That's you just gonna take it and and fucking feel the pain. But Adam Cole, I guess he bought that shit. <coughs> um. So then Hangman goes outside. He starts grabbing more chairs and throwing them in the ring, just chair on chair on chair in the ring. Taz goes, "I'm having a flashback." <laughs> <laughs> I pop for that. <laughs> Easy done. Easy done. There we Easy go, baby. Done. You know. <laughs> um. Cole goes for the Panama Sunrise, but Hangman counters it, drops him with the dead eye. And then, you know, the count's on, because, you know, count to 10. Mm-hmm. Cole gets to his feet by sliding out of the ring, which I thought was a cool spot. Like, he couldn't get to his feet, literally, so he just rolled out of the ring and then held himself up with the ropes to support. <laughs> yeah. So, technically, he's on his feet. Tech, just technically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so... Fucking, where am I? Okay, Cole, he goes up, Paige follows him, knocks him down, and then he goes for the Ari Haro moonsault, but Cole knocks him out with the anti-air super kick. Yep. He always fucking nails it. How does mm-hmm. he always nail it? Because that boy clean. He clean like that. Precise. Yeah, the, the best at super kicking dudes out of midair. Mm-hmm. It's an art with Adam Cole. It really is. Shawn um, Michaels should... should but you know he he did study under Shawn Michaels for a bit, so yeah, yeah. He took that Shawn Michaels maneuver and was like, "What if I perfected it?" <laughs> mm-hmm. So, never mind. <laughs> I'm about to go back to Demon Slayer again, and I was like, "Stop!" <laughs> <laughs> it's always you know, like that one time where there was that one guy that 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 he only knew one move, but he did it so god that he perfected every way of doing that move. Uh, what was it? The the thunder breathing technique? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Adam Cole with that with that mid air super kick. Mm-hmm. Um, but Hangman he comes back in, walks right into the Panama Sunrise, and he's down. The ref is counting. Hangman just beats the count at fucking nine point nine. Nine point nine. Just beat it. So then they fight up top. Hangman gets a fucking gigantic avalanche exploder across the ring onto all the fucking chairs. Cole lands right on them. And then he sets up a chair for Cole, sits a minute. Uh, He's trying to go off the ropes, but Cole grabs him and pulls him back. So then Hangman is like, all right, this motherfucker, I'm going to show you what's going on right now. So Hangman sets up a chair, sits across from Adam Cole, and is like, you hit me, and I'm going to show you. And Cole hits him, and then Hangman hits him back, and they start trading in the chairs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I fucking mm-hmm. love that spot. <laughs> <laughs> so then Cole grabs Hangman, says, you will never be me, and you will never be Kenny Omega. And he pushed the wrong button. He pushed the Kenny button. <laughs> he pushed the Goku that, button. Man. You don't talk about that, man. You don't talk about that, man. You don't tell Vegeta about Goku. It's, it's going to be a problem. Always going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. So Hangman fucking... Karat! (laughs) That's basically what happened. (laughs) (laughs) Hangman levels this man with the buckshot, but he is not done. He ties Cole up in the ropes with his belt, and then he goes under the ring. I love this camera shot. Yes. It's focused on under the ring, Mm -hmm. and Hangman pulls up the curtain, and we see the chair under it, and the camera focuses on it, and then Hangman goes for it and pulls it out. Evil shit. Out of the darkness into the light. Mm-hmm. That was a great camera shot. Fucking meanness. Yeah. So he goes in the ring. Cole is, he has no way of defending himself. And Hangman is considering ending this man. Like he said, fucking end your life. Mm-hmm. But then he looks. 
The crowd wants him to do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But he's like, he's he's too moral. You yeah. know, he's a good guy. He's a legit baby face. He's lawful good. Yep. So yeah, he's Steve like Steve Austin. On the other hand, <laughs> Austin would have done it. I would whip your ass. Done, done. You sorry over bastard. And over and over and over. With barbed wire chairs, just blam. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, yeah, he he's like, nah, I can't do this. This is too far. So he puts the chair down. <coughs> he he goes to untie Cole from the ropes, and as soon as Cole gets free, low blows him. And. Cole goes for the super kicks, but then Hangman just eats him, fucking bombs him with another lariat. Mm-hmm. And then he sleeves up the barbed wire. He puts it around his arm. They fight to the apron. Cole goes for the Panama Sunrise on the apron, but Hangman stops it, hits him with the barbed wired forearm, then takes it off, wraps it around this man's head <laughs> like our Lord and Savior's crown of thorns before sending him. To the beyond. That's the same thing that I said. I was like, that's the crown of thorns because it's Good Friday. <laughs> yes. On Good Friday, he did this to this man. Hit him with the that crown of thorns before he though. sent him off. <laughs> that was low-key healy shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just turned Adam Cole into a martyr, my man. <laughs> <laughs> he said that's what he was going to do, though. I'm going to fucking end this. I'm going to show you what happens when you fuck with me. That's what Hangman said with this. <sighs> He pulled the Judas on his ass. So, yeah, he he destroys Cole dead eye through the table. Mm-hmm. Ref counts to 10. Adam Cole is fucking dead. What a match. What a match. This was murderous. <laughs> this was absolutely murderous. What? Murdering people through tables, murdering people with barbed wire, murdering people with chairs. This was a, a, a showcase of many ways to murder a person. Yes. You ever heard of a thousand ways to die? This was the match. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this ass whip in this match. Just yep. one of the things I really liked about this is that Hangman was clearly the better man in this match throughout oh, the yeah. entire thing. Oh, yeah. He had the advantage the majority of the match. The only time ever Cole ever really got the advantage is when he cheated. And even then, Hangman was just like, you're going to keep fucking cheating, really? <laughs> Yeah. The story that tells is, though, you don't want to go up against a pissed off Hangman Page. Yeah. Regular Hangman Page, I right. you might you might get one over on him. He, he, he'll simp because he's a baby face. But when it's time to go against the real fucking deal, pissed off, I'm sick and tired of your bullshit Hangman Page, you taking the L, my man. That is why he is our world champion. I love that he picked this match and he knew that Adam Cole could not beat him in this match. The only question was mm-hmm. how far would he go to truly end this man? And just, he's not only a strong baby face, he's a confident baby face. I like yep. that shit. That's good he's shit. A beast. This this But I was, mean I, a baby face should always be some type of confident, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When they're too, you know, sympathetic, then you're just like, man, maybe you can't get it done. Maybe I shouldn't be behind you. But when you're like, I'm going to whoop your ass, and then you go out there and whoop his ass, that, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, then I, I believe you, and I want to follow you because I believe that you will get it done. Yeah. Look, look what he did that time <coughs> and the time before that. Every time this man says he's going to do it, he does it. And that's what mm-hmm. makes people believe, show and prove. Yep. So they're doing that with Hangman. Every like I you can people can say what they want about, you know, the the in betweens and how they're booking these feuds and everything, but when it's time for Hangman to show up and and be the man, he is the fucking man. Every major title match he's had so <laughs> far has been top tier. So Although I do wish they gave him more of a story though. It would be nice to give him, like, a defining feud. I, I, I will say that. Yes, I agree with that. Because to be honest, here I thought this was, like, story-wise, it's been kind of weak. Yeah. But I always thought for a minute that, like, maybe they were going to turn this up a notch with, with Adam with Adam Cole being, like, an, an even bigger heel. But they never really got past a certain point. It never felt too, too personal. It was more of a, this man is annoying, this man is a nuisance, this guy... 
is bothering me, and yeah, I'm going to make sure that I get side. rid of exactly. I'm going to yeah. get rid of this gnat. I'm going to get rid of this thorn in my side. You know what I'm saying? What has caused the thorn in your side? Yes, <laughs> Adam Cole, baby. Anyways, yes. <laughs> but yeah, like I, I always thought that maybe they were going to do something like that, and it just I feel like it just never picked up. You know? Yeah. So Tony, work on that because we need we need those feuds where I want to be fully. That if if you can do what you did with MJF and and CM Punk in the world title feud, then it, you know what I'm saying that would feel more <laughs> akin to what it, it's supposed to be. Yeah. And I would to what you're making it, yeah. That's what, and I would say maybe that is still to come, and maybe yeah. maybe maybe this is a feature and not a buck. Who knows? Because again, like I, I still feel like. I do, I do agree with you that they never, like, there was another gear that this few could have gone to that it didn't go to. But overall, I feel like, you know, they had good matches. They had solid segments, and, you know, they, they, they did their work. Uh, and then I feel like with the potential challengers coming up, who do you think is, who do you think Hangman's facing a double or nothing? Because at this point, I think it's I Punk. Know. I don't know. I hope it's not Punk because I feel like, they haven't turned Punk heel. They haven't turned Hangman heel. And Babyface and Babyface can work. But then again, it's, it's going to feel like another waste. And if, then if Punk actually does beat him, it's going to feel whack for Hangman. You feel me? I don't think Punk beats him. <coughs> I don't think so either. But at the same time, that's why I'm like, how does this go then? Yeah. And if Punk does beat him, you know they're turning him like super duper mega evil, grizzled old man heel. Yeah. But then it's like, because I've, I've, I've seen the idea put out there and now I can't get it out of my head. And it's what I really actually want now. If and when Punk wins the, the world title, the guy that beats him for it has got to be MJF. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I also think that the guy that's going to beat fucking, I, I genuinely still think at this point MJF is the one that beats Hangman for the title. But the problem is we still got that whole feud with Wardlow to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think... The CM Punk thing, I, I'm not ready for it, to be honest. I want it to be once MJF wins the title and then it continues the, the bullshit. Yeah, like, it, it'll be interesting to see because I think I think the, the double or nothing is probably Wardlow and MJF. Mm-hmm. And then you get Punk and Hangman. And then the next pay-per-view would be All Out. So yeah. then I think there you maybe get Hangman and MJF. Mm. And then, I mean, who knows where Punk is by that point? Probably in something. But um, it, I, I, I don't know. I could be entirely wrong about that. I don't know. I'm just, you know, spitballing. Yeah. But it, it, it feels like that's the path. You know what you can do that, that could recon everything? But we, again, you would have to move past that Warlow thing way too fast. And yeah, and I think they're I genuinely going to, because they're building Warlow. Like, obviously, they yeah. want Warlow to be a star. MJF at this point is is made. So mm-hmm. there's, there's no worries with him, but they're they're making Warlow now. So Because yeah, my gonna, only other idea would have been, okay, you let the Warlow thing kind of, like, heat up, but during that, you would have to then find a way to screw over CM Punk. What you can do is, actually, you can have CM Punk help Wardlow get his his footing back in AEW and, and become an, an AEW, you know, wrestler officially. Yeah. And then that could be the way where, like, then you screw over CM Punk to get him out of the picture because that's the only way I see it happening is if you get Punk out of the picture and then you have MJF go towards the, the world title. But again, that beef with Wardlow would still be there and it's 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 I don't know I, I'll see what they do I mean whatever yeah. Tony Khan does is whatever Tony Khan does yeah, he got it in his notebook yeah. so I don't know he were I, I would assume he worked it out because that's what he said he, he has all these storylines that he writes months in advance and he's rebooking them on the fly and being fluid about it so mm-hmm. I don't know we gonna see what he does I trust his judgment so he need to hit me up so I can help him out <laughs> I, I, yo, yeah, call me. I, we could we could do some shit, Tony. I, you know, let's let's cook. Uh, but yeah, that's 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 rampage. This is rampage, baby. Oh uh, yeah, I, I definitely had fun with this show. Great, great main event. Uh, fucking 
solid women's match with, with Ruby and Robin. That twin magic stuff was weird, but I guess that's I guess that's the, the thing. No, gonna, I kind of liked it. I, I wasn't mad about it. I, no, I didn't hate it or nothing. I didn't hate it yeah. or anything. Just I just thought it was it was it was out of nowhere because like Robin Renegade has been around. I guess maybe I haven't seen like every Robin Renegade match in AW, but she's had a few, and fucking I never saw her her sister. Yeah, so. we never seen Charlotte uh, Renegade, but I guess that gives somebody else a role now. Yeah, 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 I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. I just thought it was like out of nowhere. I was like, oh, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> We're just giving people jobs out here, bro. We just... <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. Helping come people it. out, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. Fun, <laughs> fun stuff. If fun you stuff. watch you some fucking uh, 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 Battle of the Belts, you'd be like, holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, this yeah, yeah. giving some people a chance. I, I got, I got to watch the rest of Battle of the Belts, but it seems like that Dallas crowd got a good, got a good little pocket of AEW. I'm movies. telling you, if you would have seen that dang ROH match, you would have been like, okay, I get it. <laughs> oh, I don't doubt it. Uh, Jonathan Gresham is my arch nemesis. <coughs> He's a fantastic wrestler, one of the best in the world. Yep, and Dalton Castle is hilarious. <laughs> but, but, fuck that guy. But great wrestler. Great Yo, wrestler. Dalton Castle had one of the nastiest lariats I've seen. That shit was. East in that match. Dal- I, I, I do love Dalton too. Dalton has is, is always been great. Dalton was one of those guys back in, you know, when Ring of Honor was going before. Yeah. I always thought when he really got hot and they waited to put the fucking title on him, I was like, God, come on, man. Yeah, flopping with Dalton. Um, the, the Ring of Honor, honestly, back in the day, they did that with a few guys. They did that with a few guys. They, they kind of waited too long. But that's neither here nor there. Dalton. Okay. Well, Tiff. <sighs> I guess that's that's been rampage. That's been the end of our show. Rampage, baby. And I think it's time for you to let these uh, people know where to um, where else to find us. <laughs> ah, yes, indeed, yeah. You already know where to find us. Find us on Instagram at Ramble Mania Show and at Dancer Club Podcast. Find us on Twitter at Ramble Mania, Facebook.com slash Ramble Mania Show. Also find our group there, Ramble Mania Show's Banter Club, where we and the wrestlers and podcasters and everybody we associate with post all our goings on and all that's going down. Um, as far as the audio goes, wherever audio is found, that's Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Podcast. Spotify, Stitcher, Anchor, TuneIn, Overcast, everywhere your podcasts are found, search Ramble Mania Show or Banter Club. As far as the visuals, twitch.tv slash Ramblemania Show. Look us up on YouTube, Ramblemania Show mm-hmm. or Banter Club. When you get here, like the videos, click subscribe and click the bell so that when a new content drops, it goes Go straight, straight to, to you. you. Also on video on Spotify, video and audio. So check us out over there. Give us a rate and two on that and Apple Podcasts, five stars if you will. And as for <laughs> me personally, Find me on Instagram at TJ the Great One. That's TJ the G R the number eight the number one. And find me on Twitter at TJ the Great. That's TJ the G R the number eight. It's as simple as that. TJ the Great. It can. You can find me on Instagram at the number six the letter X the letter L. That is at six X L. You can find me on Twitter at S double I double X eight I Great. That is at S I I X X. You're all ready. You can also find us on TikTok at Ramble Mania Show where we post beautiful little funny clips of all the stuff that we do here. With all that being said, I uh, <clears throat> would like to leave our BC aliens a little something we like to call a uh, too sweet. Too sweet. And a good fight. And a good night. Happy Easter, y'all. Happy Easter, y'all.